if I acquired a second position home equity line of credit on my primary property, let's say, and I'm able to get a four to five, six percent, anything lower than six point seven five percent intro rate yep. on you know my HELOC, then the question is, do I even go after the Tennessee property, the two forty first, or does it make sense to go after um, a smaller property? And then so if we were to look at the different properties, so yeah. two forty five three eight. Um, 0.71 and what was the principal and interest payment on this 15 1551 I told but when yeah. you calculated I think it came around 1571 that. Oh, 1587 you have written I can see on your whiteboard yeah so that one gets a 155 on the cash flow index look at the 204 one mortgage payment is 353.77 plus 584 204.48. Then we got the 94,000 that's 181 60 plus 269 68. All right, so we got these numbers so far. Go to the Texas one. Texas is 263 and 940.07. So that's 12. Oh, hold the Texas to 10 or 8 1 divided by okay, 10 4. <clears throat> yeah, so the primary property would be the last one because that's like the biggest debt. I'm gonna do the Florida one real quick. So that's 542 49 9 5 8 no, 6 6 3 divided by okay. So it looks like looks like looks like Tennessee yeah. is winning. Um, in terms of that that would be like the first one we go after let's just say mm -hmm. and the only way this makes sense for me is either going with a second lean HELOC is what I would prefer mm -hmm. to do and with a second lean HELOC they typically have these one-year intro rates that you can find and it would and it would be below 6.75 percent or right at 6.75 for the first year and then I also want to leverage maybe a 0% credit card for 12 months or longer with no balance transfer fee so yeah. this to me is a better version of velocity banking and to put that to put this into a software and tell you what to do that's where I haven't found the right software that can show me how to do that yeah. so that's been my dilemma where it's like first off it's like the people on the velocity banking side are always pushing first lane helocs when they really don't make sense some of the time right this doesn't make yeah. sense to do it i yeah. think if you're you know with your primary property if if we were to turn that into a first lane heloc maybe that doesn't even make sense you know you're at a 2.75 percent you know, um, yeah. interest rate and to unlock that and turn it, turn a half a million dollars into nine, nine and a half percent. It's just, it sense. yeah, unreasonable, um, for, for me to con consider, but this makes way more sense where it's like, well, if I can move a lot of that 240 that's sitting at 6.75% and move it in chunks, small chunks and that's the other problem that i found with the softwares that i've seen is it doesn't typically tell me to make the right chunk according to the math that i would use right so yeah. if we if we were able yeah. to get it if we were able to get a second lien heloc let's just say for 100k and we get the same exact interest rate 6.75 percent yeah right and that's our intro rate for the first year great cool so now, what chunk amount would make sense to hit this 240 at 6.75% amortized and, and do velocity banking? Well, when we look at the, the cash flow, right? And in this scenario, with a second lien, we would still have the normal um, mortgage payment because that didn't get removed, right? Yeah. So our cash flow, we're going to use the, the 4,500 number cash flow, right? Yeah. yeah. So if I'm at 4,500 cash flow times 12, that's 54K. And then 100,000 times 
two thirds, 66. Okay, this is now my chunk range. I haven't yeah. seen I haven't seen a software that does this, right? Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. like tells yeah. me what makes we sense. Need to develop this. Uh, I mean, I, I can help you developing the software <laughs> based on the rules. So. Yeah. No, but I understand. But I'm so surprised these MoneyMax guy when they have so much of the software, why can't they add this module or this functionality also into it? Because with MoneyMax account, what they're what they're focused more on is showing people how to basically do debt snowball but faster, right? Because when you do debt snowball manual, debt snowball manual, when you have this forty five hundred dollars, typically you're gonna make your extra payment when? Typically at end the, of the month. Yeah, end of the month. With Money Max account, it may tell you to make multiple payments to your debt, right? Multiple payments to your debt that would eventually total up to the 45 within the 30 day period of when you get your paychecks. Yep. Right? So because if, and this the only way to fully maximize the money max account is once you buy it you also need to get the the subscription they have a they have a subscription in there where you connect all your bank accounts so it so it automatically deposits all your transactions money in money out so it sees that and then it'll know on this day pay 500 on this pay set pay 700 on this pay pay 900 toward this debt right let's say it's the mortgage that we're targeting yeah that would would speed up that snowball manual right by by a little bit okay Interesting. um now with velocity banking it's you know hand paper but i get the best of both worlds because if you were to match someone that pays Four thousand five hundred a month. At the end of every month for twelve months, they they would have paid fifty four thousand to the principal. Yeah. If I do that in month one of that same twelve month cycle, my mortgage would be paid off faster than them, hands down. Okay. Okay. Now the issue that you have to solve for is how do you come up with fifty four thousand in the first month, right? How do you come up with that money in the first month? So then it's a matter of, okay, well, if I leverage a HELOC, I need to make sure that when I make that $54,000 chunk, let's say in month one, that my interest cost to borrow 54,000 is not more than the guy that's just doing payments of $4,500. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if we can yeah. find a HELOC that's at 6.75% or lower, you will absolutely pay less interest because now we're using 100% of our income to now manipulate that 6.75 down to like two, three percent ish range. And we need this as well to help out. We need a credit card that we're going to run bills on, get cashback rewards and points. I also don't know how to factor that into a software, like how to show for that. And having another credit card that you literally take the gap between 54 and 66, let's say. 66,000 minus 54 is 12,000. Let's say you got a 0% credit card and you put 12,000 on it, 0% for 12 months and no transfer fee. So it costs you absolutely nothing to park $12,000 out of here into the card and instead of paying 6.75 percent now you're paying zero for the next 12 months and you're just going to pay the monthly minimum payment back to the card from your debt tool from your heloc what does that what does that do in interest savings and you know all, all these different things are not being factored in um that i think replace your university with their calculator it's just not showing and so they're yeah. showing 71 months. And I, I mean, again, that looks terrible. I would not do that. Um, that snowball showed 46 months or something, right? Yeah, yeah. To be completely uh, debt-free. And then the Money Max account is probably going to beat that a little bit or match it up. And yeah. then Velocity Banking should be able to do that faster yeah. by, by getting the jump start. And then here's where I finish off. Here's where, where I'm much different from all the other velocity banking people is 
I say, look, let's say your HELOC after the one year jumps up to 9%. Well, then what I tell my clients is don't use the HELOC because you already got your win. You got 12K on 0%. You did a $54,000 chunk in year one up front. You dramatically cut off the amortization schedule. So your, your monthly payment is now working stronger than the guy that's paying his 4,500. You already, you already got the win.